welcome everyone. At this time, it gives me pleasure to introduce to you our Mayor, Honorable Mike Matson. Thank you, Father. On behalf of the City of Davenport, I just want to take an opportunity and uh, wish everyone uh, a great farewell celebration and, and uh, wish you the best as you process into the future. Two great parishes, St. Mary's and St. Anthony's, coming together. Um, wonderful people. Now you'll be stronger together. You'll unite. Uh, the city will be better. And uh, I wish you the best. The city wishes you the best. St. Mary's, St. Anthony's up top, looking over you. I don't think you could ask for two better people to watch over you. So on behalf of the city of Davenport, myself, I wish everyone the best. Um, anything you, do, you need, please ask. Uh, but the city uh, is with you, and um, please um, enjoy this wonderful day. Thank you, Father, for inviting me. Bishop, thank you. And uh, St. Mary, St. Anthony's, a great union in the future. I wish you the best. Thank you. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. With your this is different, huh? Out here? What a deal. Um, and pandemic, and but the Holy Spirit is blowing through here. I gotta keep my, my little beanie on and everything. The Holy Spirit is blowing through here, something new happening, and but it's poignant too. It's hard to, um, to say goodbye in any situation, including saying goodbye to um, parish building, so a church. So let's, let's begin by um, recognizing, as we always do, that we are people who are sinful and in need of God's love and mercy. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we look. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In burdened pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in bright paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life.
invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. En aquel tiempo, volvió Jesús a hablar en parábolas a los sumos sacerdotes y a los ancianos del pueblo, diciendo, El reino de los cielos es semejante a un rey que preparó un banquete de bodas para su hijo. Mandó a sus criados, llamarán a los invitados, pero estos no quisieron ir. Envió de nuevo a sus criados que le dijeran, Tengo preparado el banquete, he hecho matar mis terneras y los otros animales gordos, todo está listo, venga a la boda. Pero los invitados no hicieron caso. Uno se fue a su campo, otro a su negocio, y los demás se le echaron encima a los criados. Los insultaron y los mataron. Entonces el rey se llenó de cólera y mandó sus tropas, que dieron muerte a aquellos asesinos y prendieron fuego a la ciudad. Luego les dijo a sus criados, la boda está preparada, pero los que habían sido invitados no fueron dignos. Salgan pues a los cruces de los caminos y conviven al banquete de bodas a todos los que encuentren. Los criados salieron a los caminos y reunieron a todos los que encontraron malos y buenos y la sala del banquete se llenó de convidados. Palabra del Señor. In the first reading from Isaiah, we heard about a, a feast of rich food and, and choice wines. Perhaps that brought to mind, for some of you, juicy, rich enchiladas and pure choice tequila or something, whatever. But Isaiah is actually talking about the promise of, of God's kingdom. And, and, and you know, the gospel parable picks up on that. It uses the metaphor Jesus uses the metaphor of a wedding banquet to describe the, the heavenly feast. In our Catholic worship, the Eucharistic feast, of course, is the, is the foretaste of, of the heavenly banquet. And many Eucharists, countless Eucharists, have been celebrated in this church, named after the mother of the sacrifice offered on the altar. Today's psalm response is, I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. In this, this particular house has special meaning to those of you who were parishioners here um, for some or for many years. Being here today stirs up a lot of memories for you. It brings to mind not only countless masses, but also baptisms, first communions, confirmations, weddings, funerals, confessions, anointings, quinceaneras, and other, and other celebrations. The church has, in, in, in Jerusalem there was a temple, and that was the, you know, the be all and end all for them, but the church has, has many houses in which the Lord lives. The Lord isn't more present in one house or church than, than in another. So that's one side of reality. But there's also the personal side, which deals with feelings and emotions. There may be the shedding of a few tears this, this afternoon as we leave this church and process to St. Anthony. Isaiah tells us in that first reading that God will wipe away the tears from every face. He writes, let us be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has saved us. And that's the most important thing. Everything else um, pales in, in comparison to our salvation in Jesus Christ. Our earthly wedding feast, the Eucharistic banquet, is the source and summit of our, of our Christian lives. And the hall, um, you know, to pick up on 
the language from the, from the gospel parable or the church where it is celebrated plays a very significant role for us Catholics. But as important as our places of worship are and as close to our hearts as they may be, in the big picture, they are secondary to the feast itself. The gospel parable makes a big deal out of the wedding feast, but it mentions only in passing the hall where it was held. So, you know, um, feasts and, and halls aside or churches aside, the point of the parable, which we, you know, we can't lose sight of, is that God wants to marry us. That's how much God loves us. Feasts, even the Eucharist, the source of some of our, of our Christian life, and, and parishes, no matter how much, or churches, no matter how much we might love them, they're all a, they're a means to an end, and we can't lose sight of that. The end is union with God. And, you know, so marriage, that's the best way God can describe the relationship he wants to have with us, to be married to us. And, and God, so because God wants to enter into, into um, us, he wants us to enter into his life. Have we truly and fully accepted God's marriage proposal? Are we totally committed to God and totally faithful to God? Is our love fruitful? In other words, are we living up to our baptismal promises to share God's love and the good news of Jesus Christ with others? When we process to St. Anthony after this Mass with the Blessed Sacrament, we will, we will hold high a portion of our feast that we celebrated here this afternoon. And when, as we process there with the Blessed Sacrament, we will publicly demonstrate that we are missionaries' disciples. And we're not afraid to, sh to, to share that with the world, to proclaim to the whole world that we are disciples of Jesus Christ. As St. Paul tells the Philippians, we can do all things in him who strengthens us, even hard things, like saying goodbye to a parish church that has, has fed, fed us, some of you, for so long. Um, we can do all things in, in him who strengthens us, including beginning a new adventure in a new house of worship. En la primera lectura de Isaías, escuchamos acerca de un banquete de comida rica y vinos selectos. A muchos de ustedes, quizás eso les trajo a la mente enchiladas jugosas, deliciosas, sabrosas y también tequila puro y selecto. Pero en verdad, Isaías está hablando de la promesa del reino de Dios y la parábola del Evangelio usando la metáfora de un banquete de bodas para describir el banquete celestial. En nuestro rito católico, la fiesta eucarística es el anticipo del banquete celestial. En esta iglesia, que lleva el nombre de la Madre del Sacrificado, se han celebrado muchas eucaristías ofrecidas sobre este altar. El Salmo responsorial de hoy es, yo viviré en la casa del Señor todos los días de mi vida. Esta casa en particular tiene un significado muy especial para todos ustedes que fueron feligreses aquí durante muchos años. Estar aquí hoy les trae muchos recuerdos. Les recuerda no solo innumerables misas, sino también bautismos, primeras comuniones, confirmaciones, bodas, funerales, confesiones, funciones, quinceañeras u otras celebraciones. La Iglesia Católica tiene muchas casas en las que habita el Señor. Nuestro Señor no se hace más presente en una casa que en otra. Esa es un lado de la realidad. Pero también está el lado personal de las cosas que se ocupa de los sentimientos y las emociones. 
Es posible que se derramen algunas lágrimas esta tarde cuando dejamos esta iglesia y empecemos nuestra procesión a San Antonio. Isaías nos dice que Dios secará las lágrimas de todos los rostros. Él escribe, gocémonos y regocijémonos porque el Señor nos ha salvado. Nuestro banquete de bodas terrenal, el banquete eucarístico, es la fuente y la cumbre de nuestras vidas cristianas. Y aunque el lugar o el salón de fiesta donde se celebra tiene un papel muy importante, pero más importante sean nuestros lugares de adoración. Y por más cercanos a nuestros corazones como puedan estar, en, el, en la visión general son secundarios a la fi, misma fiesta. La parábola del Evangelio de la, le da mucha importancia a la fiesta de las bodas y solo menciona de pasada el lugar de la fiesta, dejando a un lado las fiestas y los lugares, los salones, el punto central de la, de, de la parábola es que Dios quiere casarse con nosotros. Eso es lo mucho que Dios nos ama. Las fiestas y los salones son un medio para lograr un fin. El fin es la unión con Dios, el matrimonio con Dios. Dios quiere que entremos en su vida. Hemos aceptado verdaderamente y completamente la propuesta de matrimonio de Dios. Estamos totalmente comprometidos con Dios y somos fieles a Él. Es fructífero nuestro amor. En otras palabras, estamos cumpliendo nuestra promesa bautismal de compartir el amor de Dios y las buenas nuevas de Jesucristo con nosotros. Cuando vayamos en procesión hoy a la parroquia de San Antonio después de esta misa, vamos a levantar una porción de nuestra fiesta, ¿no? es decir, el cuerpo de Cristo. Anunciaremos públicamente que somos discípulos misioneros. Como dice San Pablo a los filipenses, todo lo podemos en aquel que nos fortalece, incluido el inicio de una nueva aventura en una nueva casa de adoración y celebración. Pray the perfection of faith together. It will be in the form of um, the renewal of our baptismal promises. So I'll read, read those in, in questions in, in English, Father Sia in Spanish, and all together we will say, I do or, or see. Do you renounce Satan? Renuncen a Satanás. And all his works? Renuncen a todas sus obras. And all his empty promises. Y todas sus seducciones. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Creen ustedes en Dios Padre Todopoderoso, creador del cielo y de la tierra. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Creen en Jesucristo, su único Hijo, Señor nuestro, que nació de la Virgen María, padeció, murió por nosotros, resucitó y está sentado a la derecha del Padre. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Creen en el Espíritu Santo, en la Santa Iglesia Católica, en la comunión de los santos, en el perdón de los pecados, en la resurrección de los muertos, y en la vida eterna. Amen.
is our faith. It is a faith of the church, and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. I will present some of our needs and concerns to God. We pray for ourselves that the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, we may discern what particular mission God is inviting us to as baptized members of the people of God. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Por nuestro pastor principal, Monseñor Tomás Cíncula, para que inspirado por el Espíritu Santo, guíe con solicitud a su rebaño. Roguemos al Señor. We pray for the vulnerable in our society, particularly the sick and elderly who continue to experience fear, loneliness, and isolation during this pandemic crisis. We pray that they receive the care, support, and encouragement which they need to protect their faith at this difficult time. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. En agradecimiento por todas aquellas genera generaciones fundadoras de este templo y parroquia, para que la herencia de nuestra fe católica siga creciendo en los años venideros. Roguemos al Señor por este pueblo peregrino, para que a luz del Evangelio y el magisterio de la Santa Madre Iglesia, busquemos senderos de justicia y caridad. Roguemos al Señor. We pray for all in our country, that they show consideration and care for themselves and for others, and abide strictly by guidelines which our governments and healthcare professionals recommend to defeat the very contagious COVID-19 virus at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord O oh God, creator of heaven and earth, hear these prayers which may, we make in your name, and in your kindness grant all that we pray for through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and to me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a socially distanced peace, sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. the bishop will be doing a farewell a ritual and he will go into church and, and say prayers at the different spots within the church. El Señor Obispo va a celebrar el ritual de la despedida de Tertu. So each, after each um, blessing, please respond, blessed be God forever, or the Spanish equivalent. 
Blessed are you, loving God. In this place, we have known your love. We trust our future to your care. Blessed be God. We thank you for inspiring in us here true devotion to Our Lady of Guadalupe, our Mother. Blessed be God forever. Let us remember the baptisms celebrated here. We thank you and we praise you for the life of faith that given to all who have passed through the waters of new life at this font. Blessed be God forever. Oh, it's over here. Let us remember the times we have been forgiven, comforted, and consoled in the sacrament of reconciliation. We thank you and we praise you for the healing and reconciling love that has been given through, to us through the sacrament of penance in this church. Bless be God, God, God forever. Yeah, that's right. That's good. It doesn't matter. One way down there, but if you want to do it here, yeah. <laughs> Let us remember the generations of prayer and devotion that these Stations of the Cross have inspired. We thank you for inspiring in us here true devotion to the way of Christ's cross. Blessed be God. Let us remember the power of God's word proclaimed here at this ambo in scripture and preaching. We thank you and praise you for your holy word proclaimed here in faith and preached here in sincerity. May it echo always in our hearts. Blessed be God. Okay, now it's the altar. Let us remember the times we have gathered for the sacred banquet, the triduum kept each year, the Sundays in which we worshiped faithfully, the first communion and confirmation celebrations, the feast days of saints and martyrs, the weddings witnessed here, the funerals we held here in hope. God our refuge, our home is in you. You are greater than any temple, church, or cathedral that can be built by human hands. Yet in this place, we have met your divine majesty. This church building has been a place of blessing for us. Protect us on our way. Lead us to new communities of faith. And gather us once again at the table of the Lamb's wedding feast, where there are no more tears. Through Christ our Lord. En este momento, you may be seated. I'd like to acknowledge uh, the priests who are here with us today. I'd like to start off with Monsignor Henriksen, who was pastor here from the night. You have many fans, Monsignor. <laughs> And you were here from 
1985 to 1986. That was the year that Father Guillermo was born. That's what he told me. Somehow everything revolves around Father Guillermo. I don't know how it happens. El primer, uno de los padres que está aquí con nosotros fue párroco de 1975 hasta 1986. And then we have with us Father Joseph Sia. Father Sia, of course, has been serving the community, the Spanish-speaking community here uh, for how many years, Father? Two years here. So, una bienvenida al Padre Sia. Y naturalmente tenemos que agradecer al Padre Guillermo. El Padre Guillermo estuvo aquí, ¿cuántos años, Padre? From 2015 to 2018, Father Guillermo served the parish of St. Mary. So thank you, Father. <laughs> then uh, at the very last minute, Father Young, who uh, was the last pastor here at St. Mary, could not attend because he, there was a situation in Iowa City that he had to attend to when one of our priests got sick and could not say mass, and so Father went up to St. Patrick in Iowa City to celebrate the Latin Mass. El Padre Young no pudo estar con nosotros al último momento porque tuvo que ir a celebrar misa en San Patricio en Iowa City. So, many thanks, many thanks. Felicidades. In 1867, an Irish Catholic community came together to form St. Mary Parish on the corner of Fillmore and Sixth Streets. St. Anthony was the mother church for this mission parish in, on that port's west side. Two years later, when the building was complete, a throng of 500 St. Anthony parishioners marched in Eucharistic procession to bring the Blessed Sacrament to St. Mary. This Sunday, today, following the closing mass, things will come full circle as Bishop Zincula will lead a Eucharistic procession through the streets of Davenport to return the Blessed Sacrament to St. Anthony. In 1867, the Comunidad Católica Irlandesa se unió para formar la parroquia de Santa Maria in the esquina de las calles Fillmore y Seis. San Antonio era la madre, iglesia madre, para esta misión parroquia en el oeste de la ciudad de Davenport. Dos años después, habiéndose terminado el templo en una multitud de 500 feligreses de San Antonio, marcharon en una procesión eucarística para llevar al Santísimo hacia Santa María. Es hoy mismo, después de la misa de clausura, se dará el círculo completo a unirnos a nuestro pastor principal, Monseñor Zincula, en una procesión eucarística por las calles de la ciudad para regresar el Santísimo hacia San Antonio. For more than 153 years, St. Mary Church has been a spiritual icon in the west side of Davenport. She has served as a physical reminder of God's presence in good times and in bad, for Catholics and non-Catholics alike. The actual physical plant will continue to be used in the future for the same purpose for which it was founded, as a vehicle for loving and serving God and loving and serving our neighbor. The Diocese of Davenport, under the guidance of our good pastor, Mons I was going to say Monsignor Thomas Zincula, because the Spanish is Monsignor, Bishop Thomas Zincula, and the people of St. Mary and St. Anthony are proud to be part of this pivotal moment in the history of our city. And we look forward to being a partner in the noble work of promoting and serving the good of society. For more than 153 years, the Iglesia de Santa Maria has been an icon of spiritual in the west of Davenport. It has served as a recordatory material of the presence of God during the good times and bad times for the Catholic and non-Catholic people. The actual property will continue to be used in the future for the same purposes for which it was founded como vehículo para amar y servir a Dios y para amar y servir a nuestro prójimo. Debajo del cargo de Monseñor Sincula, 
la diócesis de Davenport y las parroquias de Santa María y de San Antonio se enorgullecen de ser parte de este momento clave en la historia de nuestra ciudad y nos complacemos en poder ser colaboradores en la noble tarea de promover y servir el bien de nuestra sociedad. I also would like to take the opportunity to thank, once again, Mayor Mike Madsen. Un aplauso. The mayor was instrumental in allowing us to be able to have the procession, and so I'm very grateful to him. And I'm grateful to Davenport's finest, the police department, que están aquí con nosotros. Y antes de proceder, uh, invito a Monica uh, Mesa, who will come forward and she will explain the order of procession. Okay, those of you that are going to join in the procession, stay seated and anybody, are we, have we done the final motion? Okay, all right, I'll just tell you the order of the procession since we need to line up and, and the procession will not leave until all of us are lined up. So first will be the police escort, then it will be the craft bearers and altar servers. Then will come the flags carried by the Knights of Columbus. That's the American flag, the Irish flag, the papal flag, and the Mexican flag. That will be followed by the Blessed Sacrament carried by Bishop Thomas Sincula with the Knights holding a canopy. Followed by that is the St. Mary's Banner. After that, it's Father Rudy Juarez, Father Joseph Sia, Father Guillermo Trevino. Then it'll be the, the bagpipe, bagpiper from the Irish Society, with the Irish Society behind that. Then we have liturgical dancers from our Hispanic group. Then we have the truck that will be carrying Our Lady of the Blessed Mother and, and drums, followed by the Aztec dancers, followed by the Posada, which is Mary and Joseph, followed by Jesus, by, followed by Pastorella. Then all the lay people that are walking in there in the procession follow that, followed by hope and light. And if anybody has any questions, there's plenty of us with diagrams on how this, the lineup will go. Thank you. I invite you to please stand for the final blessing. And your responses are in the program. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.
Yeah, they're trying. They're trying. They're trying.
Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Bendito sea Dios. Bendito sea Dios. Bendito sea su santo nombre. Bendito sea su santo nombre. Bendito sea Jesucristo, verdadero Dios y verdadero hombre. Bendito sea Jesucristo, verdadero Dios y verdadero hombre. Bendito sea el nombre de Jesús. Bendito sea el nombre de Jesús. Bendito sea su sacratísimo corazón. Bendito sea su sacratísimo corazón. Bendito sea su preciosísima sangre. Bendito sea su preciosísima sangre. Bendito sea Jesús en el sacramento del altar. Bendito sea Jesús en el sacramento del altar. Bendito sea el Espíritu Santo Consolador. Bendito sea el Espíritu Santo Consolador. Bendito sea la excelsa Madre de Dios María Santísima. Bendito sea la excelsa Madre de Dios María Santísima. Bendito sea su Santa Inmaculada Concepción. Bendito sea su Santa Inmaculada Concepción. Bendito sea su gloriosa Asunción. Bendito sea su gloriosa Asunción. Bendito sea el nombre de María Virgen y Madre. Bendito sea el nombre de María Virgen y Madre. Bendito sea San José su castísimo esposo. Bendito sea San José su castísimo esposo. Bendito sea Dios en sus ángeles y en sus santos. Bendito sea Dios en sus ángeles y sus santos. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Go in the peace of Christ.